If you've ever wondered which Dollar Tree items you should put in your cart and the ones to leave on the shelves, you're in luck today. We're going through Dollar Tree aisle by aisle and I am showing you the best of Dollar Tree items as well as those you should probably pass on. Today I'll be showing you over 60 items I have really grown to love from Dollar Tree and I hope that you will too. I'm Shannon and this is Gift to My Life where we talk about how to live an upscale lifestyle on a downsized budget. No matter what time of year it is, Dollar Tree will have a seasonal display up front. And when I recorded this, it was Easter and springtime. One of the best deals at Dollar Tree are their seasonal containers, such as these Easter baskets. You can use these for multiple purposes and you can use them from year to year. The second thing to look for in the seasonal aisle is decorations. Now these mimic higher end purchases at decorator stores and you only need a few of these, especially if you live in a small space like we do. Look for classic timeless decor like these signs and you won't have to change from year to year. The third thing I want you to look out for is their gardening pots. Now this time of year, Dollar Tree is fully stocked and their gardening pots rival those you would pay four or five times more for. This style is my very favorite because they just seem to fit in almost any location. I've had mine for several years and they still look great. I've been working hard on our backyard garden and I am excited to share some Dollar Tree tips with you in upcoming videos. Comment below and let me know if you're a gardener and what you've been planting. Dollar Tree carries these stacking pots both in small, two for $1.25 and large versions. I'm showing you how I use the larger version and this little gardening hack, which is to put something like a plant container or a plastic cup in the middle to conserve soil when you stack these. I've planted these up with herbs and given them as Mother's Day gifts, but they also make great seeding pots if you have a small space to grow your plants. In most Dollar Tree stores, the party section is on one of the side walls of the store and they carry everything you need for a beautiful party. But there is so much more to be found in that party section and I'm going to show you some ideas you may not have ever thought of. Dollar Tree's plastic tablecloths beat out almost anywhere else and they have a variety of colors that you just can't beat. They carry them both in the rectangular and the oval shape. I love the rectangular ones for paint drop cloths, but I'm going to show you a decor idea for patriotic holidays coming up. If you love the look of patriotic buntings but hate the price, purchase a red, white, and blue rectangular tablecloth cut off the ends and you'll be left with strips of those tablecloths simply tape them together with packaging tape and then use the tips i'm going to show you to form a beautiful large bunting the hack here is to start at the top and keep one edge straight while you gather to the point of the next edge this creates that draping bunting effect and you could actually use any colors you like and adapt this to any party theme. I've used Dollar Tree rectangular tablecloths to create holiday arches for Halloween and Christmas. I've used them to create special giant Easter baskets. And never throw away a party tablecloth. You can reuse it in so many ways. I will tell you to pass on the Dollar Tree utensils. I have had too many of these break off and especially for pointy forks, it's just not safe. Since Dollar Tree increased their prices from a dollar to a dollar 25, there are some hidden gems that are still a dollar. And one of those is their greeting cards. You can actually get two greeting cards for a dollar and they have many specialty cards that you would pay five or six times as much for at a specialty card shop. If you've been around, skip to my life for a while, welcome back. You know that I love using these loose site containers from Dollar Tree's party section to organize all around my house. I've used the smaller trays and bowls and hot glued them down to shelf paper in my drawers to keep these items from slipping around. I can't tell you how handy this is in keeping those smaller items we all keep in our drawers in a place that we can easily locate them and they don't cause clutter.
I always go to Dollar Tree first when I'm organizing a party because their ideas are so much less expensive than party stores. One thing I've been doing lately is using these beautiful clear fluted bowls and hot gluing them along with a tray to create a unique serving station for parties, showers, all kinds of celebrations. These trays and bowls are light enough to transport and easily put together on the day of the party. I also use Lucite party containers to organize things all around my house. Office and school supplies are definitely one of the hidden gems at Dollar Tree, but there are some things that you need to avoid and some things you need to keep your eyes peeled for because they may not happen every day. In this section, you'll see the Dollar Tree brands Ink and Jot. They're great for dry erase markers, but if you find a brand name like Expo, grab it up because these are lost leaders from other stores. I'd be lost without this vinyl covered calendar from Dollar Tree. I keep this in my daily notebook and I use it to plan all the content I make for you all. Dollar Tree scissors are a hidden gem that I use all over my house. They have both their store brand and Westcott. I usually choose Westcott if I have a choice. And I use these colored handles to color code the scissors by which room they belong in. So here you see me labeling these red handled scissors as kitchen scissors. And I will keep those in my kitchen and know that any red handled scissors belong in that room. This little trick will keep you from missing the scissors or having someone misplace them. Whether or not you have children in your life, you're going to want to stop by the kids section. It's usually located next to the party supply. And I'm going to show you some things you can do with kids supplies that have nothing to do with children. Snap up some of these Dollar Tree doll houses for some fun seasonal looks. Now here you'll see how I transform them with just a little bit of spray paint and some puff paint from Dollar Tree to look like a gingerbread village for Christmas. You can also use this idea to create Halloween villages, Easter villages, or any season for pennies compared to what you would spend in a high-end decor store like Pottery Barn. My husband and I are about to be grandparents for the first time, and one of the things I am seeing with new eyes are all the name brand toys available at Dollar Tree. Everything from Hot Wheels to Disney to Sesame Street, these are high quality toys that you can buy at a fraction of the price you would pay at other stores. Unless you have a lot of patience, I do not recommend the Dollar Tree puzzles. The pieces are extremely small and you will be frustrated. If you're looking for summertime enrichment for your kiddos, check Dollar Tree first. Here's one of my favorite Dollar Tree organizing hacks using the Dollar Tree doll carriers. Now these are the perfect size to fit in most glove boxes and you can use them however you like to organize the contents of your glove box so it doesn't spring out at you and roll around in your car. If you're new to Skip to My Life, a great big virtual welcome. Comment below and let me know how we found each other. Not everything in Dollar Tree's cleaning section is a bargain. In fact, when you compare the volume, some of these items are even more expensive than you would find in a big box store. I'm gonna show you my very favorite cleaning items, both for cost and for function. Dollar Tree cleaning supplies are almost always located on the back wall of the store. And as you can see, this store is not perfectly stocked. Two of my favorites are the peppermint sage cleaners as well as these moisture eliminator boxes and I'm going to show you the trick to using these. I love to use these moisture eliminator boxes under sinks to keep them fresh and keep mildew away but you will need to remove the plastic lid and then make sure you remove the foil backing leaving that little white piece in place. Once you replace that blue plastic lid, you can place them wherever you like and they are extremely effective. Dollar Tree sells many different styles of spray cleaning bottles. My favorite are these ones that come with a bathroom cleaner system. Now, while I don't like the chemicals they sell with it, I do love the bottle because it's clear, it's large, and the spray handle works wonderfully. So I just relabel them and use them for my favorite cleaners. Don't sleep on the book section at Dollar Tree. I'm going to show you some of my tried and true favorites in this section and why you should never pass it up. 
Let's start with some incredible bargains on children's books. These board books are super sturdy and they're going to hold up over years and years of reading. In addition, even small children can turn these pages by themselves. These giant size art pads and coloring books are such a steal at Dollar Tree. They're perfect to keep on hand for when you're doing some childcare or when you're on vacation. They will keep kids busy for hours. Check out Dollar Tree's large print game books. They are perfect to put together for someone who's sick or having surgery. For under $10, you can make a beautiful care package for a friend or family member and even mail it to them. Dollar Tree candles are one area that you really need to be careful in because some of them are a great value and work well. Some of them seem like they're gonna be a great buy and then when you get them home, I don't want you to be disappointed. So let me walk you through this section. I learned so much from watching other YouTube creators like Bargain Bethany and Sarah Jane at Chic on the Cheap. And one of the best things I've learned from them is how to use these large religious candles to make all kinds of inexpensive decor. These candles are a great bargain because they come in just about any color you'd like and they're unscented. They're great for outdoor decor because they have tall sides that shield the wick from the wind. And I use them to create table decorations for my son and daughter-in-law's wedding rehearsal dinner. Using simple school glue and some glitter from Walmart, I decorated three quarters of the sides of that taper candle. Then I finished it off with some sealer and some more decor from Dollar Tree. These looked stunning in a grouping and no one knew how little I paid for them. You can use the same idea with Dollar Tree candlesticks and make them look really chic by gluing one of the glass hurricanes to the top of that candlestick. This finished decor was exactly what I was looking for and I spent a fraction of what I would have at a high-end party store. Dollar Tree sells battery-powered candles in many different shapes, sizes, and colors. These are perfect for occasional use, but you do have to turn each unit on and off. So if you plan to use them frequently or in a grouping, I recommend that you spend a little bit more and get a unit with a remote control. I like to store some of these electric candles away for emergencies when we might be without electricity for a little while. They're perfect used for that with the batteries stored separately. If you need just a few votive candles for a special occasion, these white unscented ones are hard to beat from Dollar Tree. I would, however, stay away from any of the Dollar Tree candle scents. When you get them home, you will be so disappointed because the scent you smell in the store does not carry once you light the candle. You'll also want to pass on these small diffusers. The battery just doesn't work well and the scent doesn't carry through the air. When it comes to our pets, we have to be very, very choosy. So I'm going to show you which Dollar Tree pet care products I always purchase, but not necessarily for my pet. We have a long-haired mini dachshund named Bella, and she is my trusty sidekick in a lot of my videos. One of the things I always pick up at Dollar Tree is these dog waste bags. You can get 60 for $1.25. However, I don't like the little flashlight holders that some of these come with. I find that they fall apart easily and the batteries don't last long. I've tried Dollar Tree collars and leashes and they fall apart really easily, especially if you have an active dog. And please, please stay away from anything that might get tangled around your dog's neck or that they might swallow. Depending on how aggressive your pet is as a chewer, the Dollar Tree toys may or may not be a great savings for you. We've never had a lot of luck with them because our dogs just chew them to shreds immediately. One item I love from the Dollar Tree pet section is these cat litter boxes. Depending on how sturdy you need them to be, use one or two stack together to double or triple your sink space getting ready in the morning. You can also use them in closets and tall ceiling spaces to make the most of your storage space. Because of their color, they're great to use on top of kitchen cabinets for inconspicuous storage of things that you may not need every day. By far my favorite use for these cat litter boxes is as off-season storage for my shoes. 
Lately, we've been having a lot of rain and muddy weather, and I'm using these training pads by taping them with Peter's tape right in front of my door. Now, I had Bella demonstrate this, and of course, she went off the side, so I had to bribe her to sit in the middle and be my little model, but I think you get the idea. This can save you a lot of cleaning time. If you're used to spending over $10 on a frame, you're gonna be delightfully surprised by what I'm gonna show you from Dollar Tree. But not all these frames are used to hold pictures. We're gonna talk about several different uses for Dollar Tree frames. These magnetic frames are a great tool to create a collage on the front of your refrigerator. I'm planning a photo collage of my grandchildren on my refrigerator by picking up several of these magnetic frames, starting with the ultrasound picture. These small place card frames are great as labelers for any boxes you may have around the house. All you need to do is print out what's in the contents of that box and then hot glue the small frame to the container. There are so many ways to use these Lucite frames with their own stand. They come in three different sizes and each one costs just $1.25 a piece. I turned the smaller stand around and Velcroed it to my kitchen cabinet where I can use it to hold my phone when I'm preparing food or just want to have a conversation while I'm cooking. Use the medium frames with some shelf paper and attach them to that shelf paper to make really cost-effective drawer organizers that are going to keep everything in your drawer in place. They'll also multiply the space in those drawers and you can use them to store things you may not even have considered. I just want to say a big thank you for spending your time with me today. I know you have a lot of choices of channels and ways to spend your time, and I feel so grateful that I get to know you through Skip to My Life. Create an elegant looking jewelry stand by using some of those sticky backed clear hooks from Dollar Tree and just simply placing them on the front of that Lucite stand. If you'd like 14 pages of free household labels, click on the link below. You'll be signed up to my weekly email newsletter where you'll find out all the behind the scenes. Dollar Tree's craft section has become famous in the YouTube community and I'm going to show you why. There are some items you really need to purchase there and others you probably want to pass up. If you use a glue gun or any heated tools for crafts or hobbies, these finger protectors are a must have. And while you're at it, buy a couple packs. I go through them and sometimes I can find them, other times I can't. The second thing you'll definitely wanna get is all of these dupes for Cricut supplies. Now Cricut supplies like these picks and tools can be very expensive, but Dollar Trees work just as well. Be careful with the Dollar Tree knockoff of Cricut vinyl paper. It's very flimsy and thin, and you can usually see the background through it. However, I do love Dollar Tree's peel and stick wallpaper for all kinds of uses. Use your favorite Dollar Tree peel and stick wallpaper pattern to create a one-of-a-kind reversible placemat for outdoors. These store flat in tight spaces and they really look beautiful at a fraction of the cost you would spend for them. If you're getting some great ideas today, don't forget to let me know by clicking that like thumbs up button. Most of Dollar Tree's decorative florals are not high quality, but I love to use them in outdoor decor, especially between the seasons when things are looking a little dull and gray. I picked up this yellow bicycle off the curb on trash day and attached a basket. Now I use it in my garden for decor. Dollar Tree florals make the perfect accent and I don't have to spend a lot. Speaking of florals, if you do any floral arranging at all, you just can't beat the prices for Dollar Tree foam, either the wreaths or the blocks. The wire wreath forms are also a great find, and I'm going to show you one of my favorite projects using this trendy bicycle wreath form. After I spray painted this wreath form white, I attached a Dollar Tree pool noodle by making a slit down the center of that and forming it around that wreath form. Next, I attached it with zip ties. I attached a piece of floral foam where the two pieces of pool noodle met and filled everything in with florals and ribbon from Dollar Tree. 
These are the kinds of projects you would pay upwards of $50 for, and you can make them for pennies compared to that using supplies from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree's electronics aisle is full of hits and misses, so I'm going to show you the items I love and use every day. Dollar Tree's oval and square cord keepers are a great way to organize all your headphones and electronics. And what I love most about them is you can color code them according to what's inside. Always shop Dollar Tree first for night lights. Some are sensitive to light and come on when it's dark. Others glow all the time. But by far my favorite in the electronic section is this party display. It puts off such a fun light show. And one person told me they use it in their child's room to help them from being fussy and being scared at night. About five years ago, my husband and I downsized from a six bedroom home to a rental property about a fourth that size. So many of you know me for my small space organizing and decor, and I would be lost without Dollar Tree storage accessories. I would pass on the large fabric cubes from Dollar Tree. They're just so flimsy, but pick up some of the smaller cubes. They're perfect for organizing drawers and spaces that you pull in and out. Dollar Tree's Essentials brand has these large and extra extra large storage bags. Now I use the extra extra large. They hold two regular size pairs of boots. This will keep your boots from getting all dusty and dirty over the season. And when you're ready to wear them, you can pull them out and they will be good as new. Dollar Tree has an aisle they call soft lines, which is basically self-care items. You'll definitely want to watch what I'm going to show you next before you go shopping. Once you check out Dollar Tree's hairbrush section, you will never look anywhere else for a hairbrush. Honestly, there's no reason to spend any more than $1.25 on this self-care accessory. They have every kind of brush you can possibly imagine, from the common blow dryer brush to the more chic and really expensive brush detanglers. If you're spending a lot of time in the water this year, you'll want to pick up some of these jelly spirals to hold your hair back. They're perfect for getting wet and dry, and they don't leave any crease marks in your hair. I've bought a lot of Dollar Tree socks in my day, and my preference is these two-pack Pro Player socks from Dollar Tree. Cleaning tools are something we all need, but they can be really expensive. So there's no need to pay a lot when something from Dollar Tree will work just as well. Some of you may not consider this a cleaning tool, but I love the bleach from Dollar Tree because it comes in a small bottle and it's perfect for our small space. Dollar Tree carries the classic kitchen gloves at a fraction of the price, but they also carry nitrile gloves, latex gloves, and multi-pack gloves. It's hard to beat this price. A great addition to those gloves is the squeegee, which I use all around my house to clean mirrors and glass. Dollar Tree's healthcare section is a great place to save money. I'm going to show you the items you probably will use every single day. When you see Dollar Tree pill organizers, think outside the box. One of my favorite ways to use these is to create a mini first aid kit that I keep with me to travel and in the car. I asked a police officer if it was safe to do this, and he told me that as long as these are not prescription drugs, it's fine to transport them outside their original container. Many of the Dollar Tree soaps come in small sizes, but the two that I love and use are the coconut and the lemon verbena. These come in the larger sizes and they're used very slowly. So one bar will last you a long time. Let's talk about dental care. Now these are things we need and use every single day and they can be so expensive. I never buy toothpaste anywhere but Dollar Tree because I love this Colgate zip container. You can remove that label so that you always know exactly how much toothpaste you have. We know there's a huge markup on makeup and beauty, and Dollar Tree has some equivalent products you are gonna love for a fraction of the price. 
Because we're friends, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. My nails are terrible and I use press on nails. So I've tried almost all the kinds at Dollar Tree. And the only ones I would recommend are these LA colors. Now they only come 12 in a pack. So whenever you find something you like, I recommend you purchase at least two packs. I also love Dollar Tree Top Coat Base Coat Nail Polish. If you want to make your eyes look larger without false eyelashes, pick up one of these cost-effective eyelash curlers from Dollar Tree. There is no need to pay more than $1.25. Filling in your eyebrows can take years off your look, and this little kit from Ioni is perfect for doing that. When you think of food and cooking items, you're probably not thinking Dollar Tree, but I'm going to tell you my favorites and even some gluten-free options that are much cheaper than you'll find anywhere else. The food aisle is usually located in one of the inner aisles of the store, and you will find everything from sweet treats to bakery staples. I eat completely gluten-free, and beef-flavored broth can be one of the most expensive gluten-free items, much less hard to find. So I love to pick up a few boxes of their broth whenever I find it. These Haribo gummies are a classic, and Dollar Tree carries an extensive supply of them. They're perfect for putting together care packages for young adults or Easter baskets. Movies and concession prices have gotten so expensive. My husband and I are often having movie nights at home, and nothing makes it more special than stocking with a few of these movie boxes of candy. My favorite are the snow caps. What are yours? You can find cooking and baking supplies on sale at other stores less expensive than Dollar Tree, but if you're just looking to stock up or you want a one-stop shop, Dollar Tree is a great place for boxed cake mixes, icing, and decoration. Even though I'm gluten-free and I don't eat these, I try to keep a few cake boxes on hand along with some supplies just to create for friends and special occasions. Here's an idea for an easy to make spring treat that will look like you purchased it at a bakery. Follow the box directions to make some cupcakes with this white cake mix. I'm using some Dollar Tree cupcake papers to keep these from making a big mess and I'll remove them at the end to make them look even more bakery made. While these cupcakes are baking, I created a simple frosting using just powdered sugar, almond milk, and a little bit of almond flavoring. And now all we need to do to frost those cooled cupcakes is dip the top in our icing. I ended up dipping these all twice to make that icing nice and crispy. When it dries, it will make that decorator type finish that we love. Next, you'll need some regular sized marshmallows, some kitchen shears, and some sprinkles. I found this Peppa Pig decorator pack, and it worked for all 12 of these cupcakes and made them look so fun. Cut this marshmallow into slices and dip the sticky side into the sprinkles. This will form petals on a flower, so you can make these as thick or as thin as you like. This is such a fun and easy way to decorate cupcakes and no one will know you made them at home. Spring is definitely here and summer's on the way and for a lot of us that means deep cleaning and organizing our homes. If you would love even more help, join my membership group. There's a link below and you will get monthly instruction and printables. I recently ran out of some of the common spices I use for cooking and thought I'd pick them up at the grocery store. And I was shocked at the prices for these, especially these little salt and pepper grinders. You can pick these up at Dollar Tree for just $1.25 each to make your spices and your salt and pepper extremely fresh. You can often find name brand tostada and taco shells at the Dollar Tree. And my husband just invented this fun breakfast idea use these tostada shells now he's using the name brand from the grocery store but dollar tree works just as well place some eggs sausage cheese salsa whatever you like on top they make a nice neat little breakfast idea
Here are some of my tried and true kitchen favorites that I use every day when I prepare food. Dollar Tree is offering us more than just plastic now. They have a whole line of bamboo kitchen tools. I've been using mine over a year and they're still going strong. I also love this little hamburger tool that breaks up meat effortlessly. If you like to stock your bar with specialty glasses, Dollar Tree is the place to go. There is no need to pay over $1.25 for these beautiful, simple styles. Dollar Tree flexible cutting boards come two to a pack. They're great for their intended purpose, but they also make wonderful shelf liners and placemats. Dollar Tree's larger organizing pieces are often found in the very back wall of the store because they take up a lot of space, but I would never organize a space without first going to Dollar Tree. You can use these ice cube trays to organize jewelry and small pieces. They come two to a pack, so they're an extremely great deal. I've been using the same set of Dollar Tree drawer organizers for years. Make the very most of your space. Look for organizing containers with square corners like the ones I'm showing you. I'm working on a pantry redo for my mother-in-law and I'll be showing you that coming up. But I used these square containers in her pantry and they worked wonderfully. Thanks for coming along on my whirlwind journey through Dollar Tree today. And if you're still here, I have a very special message for you. And that is, today is not the end of your story. So do not give up.